It's 3 a.m. I'm calling in to tell you that without you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to do something that I haven't touched on too greatly except for the past little bit when I've been kind of struggling with it and that is acne so I got really bad acne maybe a couple weeks ago I'm gonna put that clip in right now so you guys can check it out and I'm gonna show you how I cleared up my skin in less than 10 days hey guys it's morning and this is what my skin looks like I'm getting it mostly right here like really bad through here and up here like there's just a bunch of little clusters this isn't cystic acne but it sure does look and feel like that my forehead is I mean I just washed my face so my face is already kind of red and irritated but my forehead is okay and but ooh. so the reason my skin well the reason I think my skin started breaking out and if you don't have and if you don't think this is true you can give me some like of your thoughts down below um, but I would eat eggs every day like two to four eggs a day I really craved eggs and I really loved eggs um, so that's pretty much what I would eat and eggs have so much vitamin B5 and zinc in them which is what kills my acne and uh, my parents suddenly said okay we want you to stop eating eggs like you don't know like you could be getting high cholesterol all this stuff I know it's true um, but at the same time, it affects people and doesn't affect other people. We're different, right? Um, anyway, so I stopped and my skin broke out in tons of tiny, tiny, tiny little zits. Tons. Like, like hundreds and hundreds all throughout my head, all around my nose and on my chin and kind of going through here too. And also my cheeks. And I never, ever break out my cheeks. My cheeks are always so, so clear. But, um, on my cheeks as well. So I was like... What the heck is going on? It's because I stopped eating eggs. So I am eating eggs again, just one to two a day. And um, and it is helping my skin, I can feel it. But it's almost like my skin was purging. So everything was being brought to the surface. And this is kind of what happened. Woohoo! So growing up, I didn't struggle with this stuff. Like I would have zits here and there. I could control it with product. And now it's like I have to be really, really careful what I do and eat because my skin will react terribly. Uh, I never wear base makeup, but this is to the point where I'm like, this is bad. Like, I'm not going to go out in public looking like this. Um, so, but you know what? Like, that's life. And sometimes you got to do certain things. And I know that this will clear up. It's not the end of the world. So I'm not like, I'm so sad. But at the same time, I want to clear this stuff up. I'm drinking lots of water every day, having fruit and veggies, and my smoothies with um, spinach and banana and peaches and lots of good vitamins. Staying away from dairy, I'm staying away from a lot of carbs and sugar. Um, so yeah. Yoohoo! Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Bye. So that's basically what my skin looks like and now I'm not wearing anything on my face. No powder, no concealer, foundation, my bare face except for eye makeup and lips. But besides that, it's just my bare face. I want to show you guys how I really deep down cleared up my skin. I still have some acne but it's very skin toned and it's not as red and it's not as deep and there's hardly any whiteheads if not any whiteheads. I wanted to show you guys my different tips and tricks and some of the products and things I've been taking that really helped clean my body and skin. Firstly, I want to tell you I have extremely oily skin. I don't have any sort of dryness to my face. So the whole trick with acne, if you have extremely oily skin, is to dry out your face. And I know no one ever says that everyone's like be sure to moisturize and use all these different types of creams and blah blah no you want to dry out your face you want your zits to dry out there is no actual proof at least from what I know that if you have really oily skin if you put on moisturizer it's gonna stop it from getting so oily that is a myth your body just naturally produces a lot of oils depending on who you are I have extremely oily skin I found out when I dried out my skin I did see less oil 
oil. The oil did not overproduce. I started getting lots of flaky dry bits, so I recommend if you're going to do this, make sure it's something where you don't have an intense week or you're going to be like a supermodel somewhere because you're not going to look the best, but at the end of not even like 10 days, you're gonna have good, good skin. This worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for you guys. I hope it does. Anyway, we're just gonna get started. A couple of these products I did get from Mimi Box. I'm gonna have my Mimi Box video linked down below. If it's not there, go check out my channel. It's quite recent. This is the Lanoa Sulfur Soap reason I absolutely love this stuff is that it's great for sensitive skin it pulls all the oil from your pores unclogs your pores there's no salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide so if you have really sensitive skin towards that sulfur is a great way to go it's very natural it doesn't smell really bad it doesn't smell like rotten eggs it's very chamomile rose hip smell I found this was great and it really did stop lots of acne from coming up and it kind of soothed the acne that was there so this is really good another product I want to talk about is a mask I really like clay masks this one is from Paula's Choice it's a skin balancing mask the reason I like this is that it dries your skin out. I'm going to say this through the whole video. It flippin' dries out your skin. So with that happening, the oil that comes from your skin isn't still moisturizing your pimples, which is making your pimples last so much longer. If you're putting moisture on your pimples, guess what? They're going to last longer. You have to kill them with dryness. So I find that if I used this just a couple times a week, it didn't make my skin super sensitive. It really pulled out all the oil and if anything, made my skin kind of flake which was good it's kind of like a um, personal microderm to kind of pull back some layers of skin so I really like this this is the clear daily skin clearing treatment this does have benzoyl peroxide 2.5 I find it's a great treatment to use morning and night and if you want you just spot treat but I like to put it all over my t-zone it helps control the oil just a little bit mattifies your skin and it's good for sensitive. I have extremely sensitive oily skin so I find that this works well. Now there were some days I had to go out of the house and show my face so I did want to put on a moisturizer because my skin was very very flaky and dry but this is a sebum control system plant stem cell cream. This was also from my Mimi box. The reason I love this is that it's alcohol free, hypoallergenic, and it's actually from a stem cell. So it's super, super natural. It's not going to make your skin aggravated. It's not going to make it red. It's just going to kind of soothe it. Almost like a little bit of a layer of skin, like an extra layer of skin. It kind of smooths everything out on the bottom. The last product I want to talk about is toothpaste. So I just put this in a jar. This is the a very specific toothpaste. This is the Arm & Hammer baking soda toothpaste. Your skin hates baking soda. The pimples hate baking soda. They do not want baking soda because it's drying, kills bacteria. It's perfect for putting on your pimples at night. So I pretty much just spot treated this on the larger pimples on my face and I woke up in the morning and I rinsed it off and I could feel my face felt so much better and no oil came to the surface to kind of moisturize my zits. I really recommend a toothpaste. Sorry, the lighting's kind of weird. I have like a light here and then natural light and you work with what you have. <laughs> I also wanted to talk about my Clarisonic Mia. This is Clarisonic Mia 2 and it has the, I think the sensitive uh, softer brush head. Reason I like this, it just cleans my pores greatly. It's still wet and it's dripping down my arms. I also wanted to talk about my Clarisonic Mia. This is Clarisonic Mia 2 and it has the, I think the sensitive a uh, softer brush head. Reason I like this, it just cleans my pores greatly. It's still wet and it's dripping down my arms. I have it in this little carrying case because I've been going here and there. Um, I like this. It's so deep cleaning, a little more expensive than I would want to pay, but I see a huge difference in my skin when I use it. I just use it every night. Any kind of oil and goo that kind of gone on my skin throughout the day, it really buffs it out and again kind of gives it a really smooth drier surface to work with and this sounds so weird this is not like any other acne video you've probably watched but 
it works you guys. If you're struggling with more of a, you can feel a zit coming out, I loved using my Tanda Zap. This is pretty much just a blue light here. See, it's kind of a blue light, you're not supposed to look at it. Warms up, vibrates, you just put it on the spot, hit the button, and it's going to kind of massage it and kill any bacteria underneath. I find this does really feel nice on whiteheads, but it doesn't kill those. But it does soothe it, and I notice that the healing process speeds up a bit, so I really like... <laughs> I really like the Tanda's app. I think it works well. I like taking salmon and fish oils, the omega-3 complex. The reason I like these is that it really, most of my acne comes from my kidneys. My kidneys, if they're not clean, polished, if my whole immune system is just failing, that's when my acne gets really bad. So I find if I take kind of an oil pill, slicks everything down, things just travel through, nothing gets bad into my blood screws. So it just really, really lets all the toxins flow out of my body. Another thing to take is just a multivitamin. This is just good for your health all over, and I think it just works nicely. Um, I know that has some B vitamins, so it can really um, accept other vitamins that I'm taking. Vitamin Bs just help my body really accept other vitamins so a natural um, multivitamin is good a huge one I want to talk about is zinc this set she says help to maintain healthy skin and immune function this is huge for me I take 250 mg's a day what milligrams is that what I hope that's what that stands for hey so I find that these really, really help to clear my skin up and balance my skin. Um, I just take them in the morning and I think they're really good. And last pills I want to talk about is the Clearzyne Acne Solution Pills. So I got these off Amazon. They're 60 capsules in each. I paid quite a lot of money for these, um, but I find that they work really nice. It has 10,000% of your daily vitamin B5 and I find that's what really helps to clear my skin up. I want to go into a couple just basic tips that I hope will help you guys. Uh, a huge one for me was definitely drinking intense amounts of water. I would kind of fill this up or humongous water bottle and just drink it throughout the day. And my goal, especially for this, would that I'd be it be completely to the bottom throughout the day. Um, reason being, it's again flushing toxins out of your system. It makes your skin really moisturized and plump and fresh. If you don't have lots of water, you can really see it in your skin. So make sure you get lots of water. Another thing, fruits and veggies. Everyone talks about this, but really fruits and veggies are so good. So easy. Feel free to make yourself a smoothie. Uh, feel free to fry some vegetables and some chicken. Just really get creative with it and stay away from things like too many carbs, too many uh, sugars, and lots of unneeded fats. But at the same time, your body needs good fat, so I recommend avocados, eggs, and only some nuts, because I know peanuts can really break some people out. So I would stick with kind of the avocado egg theme. Eggs is what helps my skin keep clear. It has lots of vitamin B5 and zinc in them. I have them almost every day. I know lots of people say that's not very good for you, but to have one to two eggs a day, no big deal. My body loves it, my skin loves it, and I have a lot of energy throughout the day too. Also, don't touch your face! Flip! I'm the, I should not even be saying this because I do this all the time, but do not touch your face just because it's an easy way for your skin to get irritated. It's an easy way for redness to come up and bacteria to form. Don't touch your face. Also, whatever does touch your face, keep it clean. Makeup brushes, pillowcase. When you put on a shirt, try not to make it touch your face. Make sure your hair is clean. Just basic things to make sure your face is overall clean. And when you wash your face and you're done, don't dry it with a towel. Take a paper towel, a Kleenex, and then wipe it down. The cotton and the fuzzies and the bacteria can all kind of build up and clog your pores. So try using the cleanest stuff you can on your face. And last tip, guys, if you got some go outside lay in the Sun the vitamin D and the warmth of the Sun is really gonna tingle your skin get some blood flow going vitamin D is a natural clearer of your skin and you're gonna get a nice glow too from the Sun which is fab. And I think that's all for this video I thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more kind of skin tip videos comment down below and tell me what you want to see next or just hit like on this video if you really like this be sure to subscribe and I'd love to to make more videos for you and I hope that you enjoy my upcoming videos 
and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!